Football fans. A crucial part of how teams play and today we are visiting some of the best home fans in the championship. And if you haven't guessed already, it's Derby County. A set of fans who have stuck by their club through thick and thin. Seriously, they have because Derby County went from being a Premier League side to getting hit by financial crisis and then getting relegated all the way down to League One. But now, Derby County are back in the Championship and their fans are driving them on to success. Pride Park is really becoming a nightmare to play at this season because Derby County have won three games this season and they've all been at home. But today, my team, Norwich City, head there hoping to get something. Derby currently sit 10th in the Championship on 9 points, whereas Norwich, not far behind, are in 11th on 8 points. Thank you for your support. I've made it to the finals of the Football Content Awards at Tottenham Hotspur, but we're not done yet. I'm trying to win the award now for the best young content creator, and here is how you vote for your boy, Travelling TW. As you can see on your screens right now, it literally takes 10-15 seconds. The link is in my description. You literally just click on the link, go to select category, pick the best young content creator, and then Travelling TW, and scroll down accept all the terms or whatever and click vote now and there is your vote done for traveling tw votes close 13th of october so hurry and get voting anyway enough of the app it's time for a norwich away day let's get to pride park well derby tomorrow and actually derby at the minute currently have two ipswich players playing for them marcus harness and caden jackson but how will norwich affair as they head up to derby what's it going to be big andy I'm going for a 2-1 win for City because um, I think Derby are good at home um, but you're going a fair way for it so it's got to be a good day out hasn't it? You know. I'm going to go for a scrappy 1-0 because obviously like you said Derby are very good at home but a scrappy 1-0 I'll take it 3 points let's get to Derby <laughs> Here we are then, decent little gaff this, Derby away. Looks like the old ultras are in there with all these flags. Hoping for a decent result today, but they are very good at home. But let's hear what Big Andy's got to say. And in terms of the league record between Norwich and Derby, Norwich currently have the edge with 29 wins. Derby have 22 wins and there have been 19 draws. The interesting thing is in the last six championship games between Norwich and Derby, Norwich have only actually won one of those games. And a bit about Derby as a place. Now Derby is situated near to the River Derwent. In terms of the distance from Norwich City and Carra Road to Pride Park in Derby, it's actually 170 miles, just under three hours. Now what's Derby as a city actually famous for? Well, it's famous for a lot of advanced motor transportation manufacturing. Headquarters in Derby include Rolls-Royce as well as Toyota. 2,800 Norwich fans expected, basically a sold out away end. Caden Jackson, the ex Ipswich player, is starting, and Marcus Harness is on the bench. Drum is spotted in the Derby end, right down there, a drum in the Derby end. Flags are flying high. Come on in, teams are out. There they are, Derby fans. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because we're on the road to 5k. Let's get there as soon as possible.
it's a very good chance for Derby. He's been hit wide by Caden Jackson. Sluiced off both teams, but Norwich certainly had the better chances. Strike that to be fair, unlucky not to go in. Straight from half time, but if you're a Dom fan, you'd be really not happy about that. That went off the pitch, but it's been cut back and Borges oh, tapped it home, but it definitely went off the pitch. But we'll take it. 1 0 Norwich, come on. Half time here at Derby and it is currently 1-0 to Norwich, the away side. A bit of a lucky goal, but I'll put a replay up because I don't know if it was out or in, but I just about miss it. Basically, you can tell what happened. He cut it back and he tapped in. But a decent half, I mean not much chances, but Norwich need to hold on to the lead. Hopefully get another and see out the game. Well shen he's gone and got a pass. <laughs> Well, I've got to say the ref has been dreadful for both sides. I mean, some of these decisions. And another one, that Ipswich player, Jackson, has been absolutely useless. Well, it is 1-1, Norwich playing a really bad spell, messing about with it, gave away a corner, and he smashed it home, and it's absolutely innocent in that moment. And then they go and play a goal sound, I mean, what a choice. Norwich, brilliant finish, Borgia signs on the edge of the box, what a goal, now it's rocking in here, Norwich can they hold it up? <laughs> Nearly a goal of the season contender there, the centre back has struck it from about 30 yards out, it's hit the bar, five minutes left, can Norwich see it out? Three minutes 
minutes left and Ball decides for the hat trick, taps in, it P rolled in, no one caught when it looked first, and then it rolled in, and there it is, 3-1 to Norwich. Literally five minutes out now, Norwich just have to see it out now. Nothing silly. That was a good finish though, to be fair. And I don't know why they're playing that goal music when they're 3-2 down.